I want to make it clear one thing. I've been thinking about, and is, and I'm so disgusted with what is happening with uh, General McChrystal and General Petraeus and the general staff of the Pentagon, uh, this president, this administration, and the fact that we have been waging a war in Afghanistan for eight years. I am very upset that the White House has chosen not to even consider withdrawing our troops from Afghanistan, while our generals don't even have a strategy for victory. What, what happened? Where, and, and in the Bush administration, we began to tolerate failure on the part of our general staff. We began to tolerate excuses on the part of the general staff. Uh, it is being continued under this administration. Uh, I've heard people say that this president now owns the war in Afghanistan, that this president owns the war in Iraq. You know what? That's not true. You and I own the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. You and I are responsible for every single man and woman in uniform uh, who is serving there and around the world. And I have a proposition for the president. You have to, you say, you will not consider withdrawing our troops from Afghanistan. So here's my proposition, Mr. President. Given that we have not succeeded under the leadership of the general staff for eight years in Afghanistan, eight years of combat, why don't we reevaluate what we're doing with our troops worldwide, not just Afghanistan? Here's my proposition. Why not do something for your own legacy, for the American people and our men and women in uniform who deserve far better leadership than they're receiving right now from their general staff? It is time to call a halt to the nonsense. Bring home our troops, 60,000 of them in Germany, Uh, 37,000 of them in South Korea, another 10,000 in Japan. Bring home our 10,000 troops in Italy. Bring all of our troops home. Leave only a modest presence wherever it might be proved absolutely necessary. But bring home our troops and let our so-called allies, and allies I'm sure they are, carry their own share of the burden. Put their militaries forward against whatever enemy is perceived, potential, or existent. And let's work as mature, responsible partners in these alliances rather than the United States as some sort of uh, senior partner, uh, some sort of big brother who carries all of the burden, all of the financial sacrifice, and in Iraq and Afghanistan, of course, the overwhelming, overwhelming sacrifice of blood for the, from the brave men and women who serve this nation in uniform. It is time, Mr. President. This is your opportunity. This is the nation's opportunity. And it's your responsibility as Commander-in-Chief. I hope you'll think about it, and I hope each and every one in the independent nation is thinking about what I'm saying because I want to hear from you. Am I right? Am I wrong? Should the President do exactly this, or should he not? Make your voice heard. I don't believe there's a more urgent issue today than what I've just laid out before you. 